Hi everyone, I'm Chris Murray, owner of Elevation Wheel Company. Today we're going to show you how to measure spoke length. Alright, to measure spoke length, first thing we have to do is figure out the rim's ERD. You'll find published measurements for this, but more often than not, they're not very accurate, especially on China carbon rims. So, always a good idea to measure your own, that way you get the most accurate spoke length possible. Uh, thankfully, very easy to do. All you need is a couple spokes of known length, a couple spoke nipples, and a pair of calipers. All you need to do to measure your own ERD, start at the valve hole, put one spoke through, thread spoke nipple onto where you would like the spokes to end up once the wheel's built. So typically that is at the bottom of the screwdriver slot on a standard spoke nipple. Uh, other spoke nipples are a little different, uh, but we'll do that on both sides. Take the other spoke, put it directly across from the one at the valve hole, and do the same thing. So, we've got two spokes threaded in directly opposite of each other. Now we will take our calipers and measure the gap or the overlap in these spokes. So right now I'm seeing about 40 millimeters of gap. So what we do is we'll take the length of the spokes, which is 256 millimeters, um, add that to each other, 256 plus 256 plus the 40, and that will get you the ERD. Next up, you need to measure flange diameter, so spoke hole to spoke hole. Uh, really easy to do this one. Just put the calipers over both spoke holes and measure that. This one is around 57 millimeters, so we'll write that down. Go over to the drive side because they're usually different. This one is around 65 millimeters. The other dimension you need to measure is what's called the center to flange. So um, center line of the hub to the flange. The easiest, the easiest way to measure that is take your calipers, go end cap to end cap, so 148, cut that in half, which would put you at 74. So on the caliper, 74 measure over to the flange. So, so that's 10, 20, 30, about 33 millimeters there. And then on the drive side, we're looking at about 10, 25. So about 25 millimeters on the drive side. Um, that measurement doesn't have to be exact. You've got to fairly good margin of error there. A plus or minus a couple millimeters is totally fine. Um, the other thing you'll need to know is the spoke count of your rims and hubs. Hopefully you know that by the time you already ordered your parts. So these are 32 hole wheels, so we will plug this into the spoke calculator. Um, another thing you may want to measure, these don't really have much offset, just a couple millimeters, so I don't do much for that. Um, if you're running fat bike wheels, you'll also want to know the, sp the offset on the spoke holes. So center line of the rim to the spoke hole, sometimes that can be upwards of 10, 20 millimeters on a fat bike rim. When we're, once you get that, you'll want to measure that or look up the specs on that. Um, when we plug all of this into the spoke calculator, that's where we adjust for spoke link for the offset for fat bikes. Uh, you'll typically just remove that number from the center to flange measurement. Uh, that'll get you pretty spot on. Otherwise, you'll end up with spokes that are way too long on fat bikes. All right, let's go to the spoke calculator. Okay, so now we need to pull up the spoke calculator. Personally, I like the one from Quality Bike. If you don't have a wholesale account with them, uh, DT also makes a nice quality spoke calculator. A uh, lot of similar dimensions. You'll just have to make sure to hit like the user to find buttons before you put in any of your info. But back to the QBP one because I like it. It's simple. It works well. So our flange diameter on the non-draft side was 57. So we put 57 on the left, 65 on the right. Our center to flange was 33 on the non-drive side and 25 on the drive side. Uh, spoke hole count was 32. 
and then over to our ERD came out to 552. Um, you can put offset in here. I like to do it manually, so I always put that at zero. Um, spoke holes, hit submit. Don't need virus protection. Um, so down here, it'll spit out the measurements you or the dimensions you need as far as deciding between uh, the number of crosses. Um, mostly depends on the number of spokes you're using. For 32 hole, I pretty much always default to two to three cross. 24, 28, usually two cross. Um, and then anything above 32 hole, I usually go. Th Three cross for 36 as well. Anything beyond 36 hole, I usually do four cross. Um, but yeah, here's our dimensions we need. Um, you just cut your spokes to that, order your spokes to that if you don't have a spoke cutter. Um, if we were to do a fat by cub, say it was a say it was a 50 millimeter left and 50 millimeters on the right. Um, all you would do if you had 10 millimeters of offset on the spoke holes you would subtract 10 from that so it was 50 you'd go to 40 you go to 40 and then that will adjust for your offset and your rims um, so that's all you've got to do there um, but yeah hopefully you guys found this helpful if you did go ahead and click the subscribe button and i will make sure to keep more content coming your way um, i'll also be posting a video after this on how to actually build the wheel so you can move on to the next step thanks for watching